the stock market an unpredictable battleground where fortunes can be made or lost in the blink of an eye. But what if I told you there's a strategy, a language even, that can help you navigate the market behavior? Listen to the wisdom of legendary investor Jeremy Grantham, who shares some significant insights on the markets that you won't want to miss. When I, when I was kind of more engaged in the front line, which I have not been for 15 years of the kind of portfolio level, stock level, and so on, used to wage war on, on language. You're not allowed to say, are going up. Every time you said that, I would say, is that a forecast? You have to say, have gone up. Because uh, it's easy to describe the present and make it sound like a prediction, unless you're careful. And when you use that language, you tend to think, and, and you get into the habit of thinking that because something has done well up to yesterday, that it's, quote, doing well, i.e. in the future. And uh, that's not how life works. You're just describing the past. And where, where are they going? Um, as, as we said, they're unique, they're bigger, they've moved faster, they've been more instant monopoly than we've ever seen in history, and they came in a clutch. And um, most of them were out of the American venture capital industry, held to long, which is the biggest and best in the world, and, and, and that has had something to do with, with the fact that they occurred here. Uh, the only rival really was China, and, and for whatever reason, they moved against their uh, superstars uh, five or six years ago and, in a sense, kind of took them out of that little basket. So um, they have been the best companies in the world, and maybe uh, they'll continue, some of them, for a while, and maybe some of them will have hit some boundary that the role of uh, China and, and the life of Two or three of them will will prove to be significant. Apple, Think, and Tesla. You know that that um, they are very dependent on the Chinese market and and Chinese manufacturing. Jeremy Grantham, a veteran investor with decades of experience, began by reflecting on his past involvement in frontline portfolio management. Grantham emphasized that phrases like "going up" should be avoided because they subtly suggest a prediction about the future rather than an observation of the past. Instead, he insisted on using have gone up, a simple yet profound distinction that forces investors to remain grounded. This approach, Grantham argues, is crucial because it prevents the common pitfall of assuming that past performance guarantees future success. The market, he reminds us, doesn't work that way. This leads to a broader reflection on the unique characteristics of the modern market. Grantham points out that the current market environment is unprecedented in several ways. The size, speed, and dominance of tech giants have created an instant monopoly like never before in history. This brings us to a critical part in Grantham's analysis, the future of these tech giants. He accepts that while some of these companies may continue to thrive for a while, others might have reached a saturation point. The role of China, he suggests, will be particularly significant for a few of them. As China's influence and strategic decisions continue to shape the global tech landscape, the fortunes of these companies could be profoundly impacted. Grantham's insights serve as a stark reminder of the complexity and dynamism of the stock market. It's not just about tracking numbers and making predictions. It's about understanding the underlying forces and staying vigilant about the language and assumptions we use. His reflections on the American and Chinese tech industries highlight the complex interplay of innovation, regulation, and market forces that investors must navigate. Jeremy Grantham, with his vast experience, explains on some fundamental shifts in capitalism itself. Let's hear from him directly to gain deeper insights into these changes. I always used to say, you know, 20 years ago with great confidence and earlier that uh, if an industry or a company gets way out of line in its return on equity, you expect it to mean revert because when capitalism is working smoothly, high returns attract competition. The money comes pouring in and low returns try and get away. So capital goes out, a few survivors get time to regroup, have little competition, and, and they come back. Well, they used to come back. 
And I think that that was an accurate statement. If capitalism is working smoothly, you expect mean reversion. If capitalism is not working smoothly and has been overtaken by a high degree of monopoly and companies that are so powerful they get to call the shots, then um, you're not going to see that mean reversion. And we have not seen it. We saw it for 100 years. And I'm happy to say while I was invest, investing, it continued. It was very well behaved up to and around 2005, 6, 7, when I began to get out into, let's call it communication. It behaved very well. There were some indications from 2000 onwards that uh, all was not well, but the fact is value or low growth and small cap was so cheap and REITs that you made a bundle anyway. And then it became revealed that uh, the mean reverse reversion machinery was not for the time being working as well as it had for the previous hundred years. That is a big shift. And I suspect what we're talking about has quite a lot to do with it. Grantham pinpoints the mid 2000s as the period when these changes became apparent. Despite early warnings from 2000 onwards, sectors like value stocks, low growth, small caps, real estate investment trusts remained attractive investments due to their undervaluation. These anomalies allowed investors to still profit significantly, masking the underlying issues in the broader market. By the mid-2000s, however, it became clear that the mechanisms ensuring mean reversion were no longer functioning effectively. This breakdown, Grantham suggests, is a fundamental shift in how capitalism operates. The powerful monopolistic entities have disrupted the natural order, leading to an era where high returns can persist without the balancing act of competition. Grantham's analysis raises important questions about the future of investing. If the traditional safeguards of capitalism are declining, how should investors adapt? His insights suggest a need for a more refined approach, one that recognizes the outsized influence of these dominant firms and the altered dynamics they bring to the market. Jeremy Grantham's observations provide a reminder of how market dynamics can evolve and challenge long-held assumptions. For investors, this means rethinking strategies and accepting that the old rules may no longer apply. Grantham's deep understanding of these changes offers invaluable guidance as we navigate this new era of capitalism. Thank you for joining us in this deep dive into the changing tides of the market. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay savvy and stay invested.